Want a weekend away? Well, a Spanish company is promoting a new tourist destination, which is quite literally out of this world. The first hotel in space, called Galactic Suite, might not exist just yet, but it's on schedule to launch in just over two years. $4.5 million dollars for a three-night stay. It's astronomical in more ways than one. But the price is a huge reduction on the $20 to $35 million dollars that's been paid for a ticket so far. And it brings the prospect of private space travel within reach of many more potential customers. Javier Claramunt of the Barcelona-based company says space tourism will become commonplace. If you find out about the technology that already exists and the advances that have been made, it's quite normal to think that your children, possibly within 15 years, could spend a weekend in space. Until its own spaceship is developed, Galactic Suites passengers will travel on Russian rockets, staying three days in a single pod 450 kilometers above the Earth traveling at a speed of 28,000 kilometers an hour. La idea de este módulo es que esté totalmente solitaria, ¿vale? Y que funcione como un refugio de montaña. The idea of this capsule is a solitary journey that works like a mountain retreat. I mean to say that there aren't any passengers, it'll be alone. When the passengers arrive in the rocket, they will join it for three days, rocket and capsule together. With this, we create in the tourist a confidence that he hasn't been abandoned. Ensamblados, cohete y módulo, ¿ok? Con eso uh, generaremos una sensación de confianza al turista que no se sienta abandonado en el espacio. ¿no? Space tourists will orbit the Earth every 80 minutes, seeing the sun rise and set 16 times a day. They'll also take part in zero gravity experiments. Launch date is yet to be finalized, but 43 people have already reserved a room and 200 others have expressed an interest. With the race for private space travel well underway, Galactic Suite are reserving their own place at the forefront of a new industry. Stuart McDill, Reuters, Barcelona.